Okay, February 24th. In 1803, the Supreme Court, led by Chief uh, Justice John Marshall, decides the case of Marbury versus Madison. This is a really important case because this essentially led to the decision that the Supreme Court was the final arbiter on what was and was not constitutional that it made for that final check within the government. So you had the congressional check on the Congress, or on the president, president's checks. So all three branches had to work together. But originally, the Supreme Court was almost, not an, not an afterthought, but it didn't even have its own building. It was housed in the basement of the Capitol building. It wasn't until the 20th century that the Supreme Court actually had its own building. But with the case of Marbury versus Madison, James Marshall set that down as precedent that um, the Congress or president can't determine if a law is constitutional. The Congress can pass laws, the president can enact and enforce laws, but it was up to the Supreme Court to determine whether or not it was constitutional, to be the final interpreter of what the Constitution means. So many presidents throughout history have kind of run into the Supreme Court. Um, FDR famously um, had many of his New Deal policies um, rejected by the Supreme Court as being unconstitutional. So he tried to pack the court because there's no, um, there's no size set within the Constitution of the size of the court. Congress sets the size of the court. It's been nine few uh, justices for 120 years, but um, Congress could change it at any time. Um, so, again, Congress can pass laws. President can enact and can push laws to be passed, but it's up to the Supreme Court to determine whether or not it, that law is or is not constitutional. So, um, very important date in American history. So, uh, that's what I have for you today. February 4th, February 24th, uh, the Supreme Court decides Marbury versus Madison. I will see you tomorrow.